Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning, so of course that means we got a weekend full of eBay sales to go over. But first off, if you're watching this for the first time, you don't know who I am, I'm Mike, I go by that reseller guy. I'm a full-time reseller, saying sell mainly on eBay, but I also sell on Amazon, a collectibles or antique booth, and a card shop co-op case, which means I sell sports cards at a local sports card shop. Uh, the main bulk of my business is eBay, and that's what we're talking about today. So let's get going. All right, this weekend was really slow, both on Friday, Saturday, and then turned out to be a pretty good weekend by the time it was all said and done. Had some really good sales on Sunday. Uh, we also had a few consignment sales. And you're saying, Mike, consignment sales? What the heck are you talking about? Yes, I took on some consignment items. Some good friends of ours are gonna be moving out of state. So I wanna help them out, uh, help them move some of their stuff. They're gonna be moving up to Colorado, get to some cooler weather, get out of this Arizona sunshine. So we went over to their house Friday night. Uh, Rachel, Ethan, thanks again for dinner. Uh, luckily, we sold some of your stuff already. So uh, we're going to be doing a little cash split on the net profits of all of this. Uh, it's not going to be a ton of money, but it's going to you know help them clear out some stuff, make a little bit of money here on this end too. So first, we got three comic book sales. Yeah, I went through this weekend and I sorted through some of the comics that he gave me. And we already had three sales. One of them happened really quick. Uh, so today, what, what are we doing? Actually, I need to talk about that too. Today, we're, we're going to pull, pack, and ship all of today's orders. I'm going to show you how I do all of them, where I store my things, and all of that. Some of it's in here. So I think we're going to do the office first. Anything that's stored in the office, we're going to do that. Otherwise, we got to go out that door into the garage. And actually, one item is even upstairs. So we're going to get the first, and actually right down here is where I have the box of comics that I got from him and sorted and listed a bunch of them. Three different comic sets. There they are. All three of these sets right back here. They're all going to be shipped very similarly. Uh, they're all comic sets. So I think they're between five and six comics each. First, we're going to go up with what was my favorite, even though it's not the most expensive of this group. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, these are original Marvel comics from... MTV's favorite Beavis and Butthead, this little six comic set. Let me get to the right screen here. I believe it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Let me get over to the screen. Here it is. Yeah, $19.99 plus shipping for these five comics. Not six of them, five of them. Issues number one through five. These are from like 1994, back in the heyday of Beavis and Butthead. I'm sure y'all remember. I had a lot of fun watching that show. But yeah, $20 for those comics. I'll go through prices, then I'm going to show you how I ship them. Next, we have Aliens versus Predator, and this is issues number zero through four. So five total copies right here. That's what it looks like on the front, what it looks like there. You got a nice alien, or actually Predator figure there, not alien. We got them battling there on that one. Uh, these were fairly inexpensive, $12.99 plus shipping. Not a big price on these, but still, it's a sale. Uh, this was the big winner of the group, and I think he knew that this was going to be a fairly popular set, The Boys. Surprised by the value of these, I, you know, not really into more current comics. Uh, he is, these were made by Wildstorm, 2006-2007 range. This set of six sold for $99.99 plus shipping. So yeah, $100 plus shipping. These are all individually bagged and boarded. We're going to ship them that way as well. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So luckily back here, I already have these pre-pulled in here, is I have these Gemini comic mailers. They work great for license plates. You might see that later on. And they work well for comic books since that's what they're made for. And I think you can ship several comic books in here. We're gonna test it out exactly how many we can get in here. If we can ship the six comic lot in there, that would be great. Uh, but folding these is really tricky because look, you gotta get this box into the correct shape took me a long time to figure it out. When I did it first time, I actually had to go to YouTube and find a video. So I did my own how-to video. First off, if you ever want to get some of these boxes, there is a link down below, Amazon affiliate link. And I also have a how-to video on how to fold these. It's really easy once you do it a few times. Just kind of grab the side and twist in. That's it. But when you're looking at the box and you're trying to do it, it's very confusing. I went ahead and I got a couple things that I'm going to use to help pack this well. And first off, we got the comic books here. But I don't want to just put them in here all flimsy, even though this box is pretty solid, I wanna protect them a little better. So I'm gonna just take two of these comic backing boards and I'm gonna sandwich it between here. And of course, I'm putting an invoice in there. I put an invoice with every order. I know a lot of you don't, but I do. I think it's the right thing to do. That way the buyer knows exactly who they got it from. You can put a thank you note on there. And if you have a YouTube channel. All right, so we got my little comic book sandwich. We're gonna put it right here in the middle. And then you gotta fold up these two small ends here. It's tougher to do this when I'm trying to look at the camera and film at the same time, but we're gonna fold those in, folds in nice and easy, then fold over the two other sides. You use your belly to do one side, 
and then fold in the other side. And these work great. So we're gonna tape it up. We're gonna put a shipping label on here and it's gonna be good to go. Now I gotta do that two more times. We're gonna do it with the two other ones as well. But I'm gonna do that off camera. I already got those three comic book orders ready to go out of here. Those are already even out in the car, in the box, ready to go to the post office. So now we're gonna get to my orders and we're gonna start with stuff that's in the office and then we'll work out to the garage. We'll go through uh, some of the easy ones first. First up, we're gonna do a couple sports cards and these were both really good sales. Both actually went through offer. Both great rookie cards. Uh, if you've seen my office before, we'll flip you around a little bit. Go look over here, just off camera is where I keep all my sports cards over here. So uh, all my graded cards are right here on the shelf and I'm actually gonna need right here. I believe they're both right in the front. Yes, because I was checking them out before I went and actually accepted the offers. So we're moving over there a little bit, try to here. Maybe I could just do that. That works easier. All right, so we got two rookie cards here. First up is a Jim Plunkett rookie card. He actually was actually drafted by the Patriots, but not really known for his days there and known more as a Raider. Uh, this is a 1972 Topps rookie card. It's great in SGC 8, which is actually a really great card, especially it's from 1972. People always get uh, hyped over needing a, a 10 on cards. You, you're not going to get a 10 on a Jim Plunkett rookie card. If you do, you're going to probably pay many hundreds if not thousands of dollars so to get one of these for just a hundred bucks is a really great deal it's a good quality card you'll see the picture in the pop-up better slightly off-centered if it was even a little better probably could have been 8.5 even a shot at a nine but when we're talking nines this next card was even better cal ripken jr 1982 tops traded rookie this is a pretty iconic card one of the top cards from the 80s this one got an SGC 9. Yeah, this is a beautiful card, like perfectly centered. Uh, getting an eye on one of these is great. If you're getting a 10, again, you're talking thousands of dollars. I don't even know what the last 10 went for. Maybe I'll throw a pop-up on the screen. You can see what a 10 goes for. You can see, So you can see the price difference. I don't know if there's any SGC 10s. If not, I'll throw a PSA 10 up on the screen. This one here, I had in my store for $500. Someone emailed me or through eBay asked if I take 450 and I went ahead and took that. So I still think that's a pretty good price for him. Pretty good deal for me too, $450. So just on these two, we got $550 in sales. Now, how am I gonna ship these? Yeah, that's a question. Now, some people, not me, might actually just take a bubble mailer and throw these in here and ship it out like that. You could do it. It would probably get there safely. That's not how I wanna ship items. Even on just the $100 one, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a little two-step process. Not that big of a deal, but we are gonna throw it in here first. And then I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna get uh, one of these little, right here. This is what we're getting. Come back here. Now I'm just gonna get this. This is just kind of like two layers of protection. So we're gonna take this, fold it over, and then we're gonna shuff, shovel it in here. Now, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but I think one extra little step, a little extra rigid protection, gonna help it during shipping. Now I gotta get my invoice, put it in here and get this packed up. Got the scale over here, let's see how it goes. Now if I didn't tell you already, I had a total of 20 sales for about $1,300 in change this weekend. But again, a big chunk of it is just in these two cards. $550 of that 1,300 was in these two cards. But still take those away, that's still over $700 in total sales. So we'll get this folded over. We'll get it shoved in here as well and then get this folded over now i don't do this on every card but if it's probably fifty dollars or more this is how i'm going to ship it it gives more protection on these corners and these cases can get shipped if they get dropped around or thrown around too much i have had that happen a couple times throw it on the scale we'll weigh it i believe it's going to weigh about three ounces actually it's 4.2 ounces so you round that up to five Get my label in the printer over here. Yeah, I don't have a Dymo yet. I'm working on it. I'll get one eventually. But as of right now, we're still using these two-part labels. We got this all packaged up. I'm gonna add one of these little labels. Now, I know these really don't do anything. I don't think the post office really pays attention to these. They don't say fragile, but they just say do not bend. Uh, sometimes when they're trying to shove things, if you have like a community post office, some of those boxes are a little small they have to shove it into. So we just throw that down at the bottom and make sure that you know, I do my part to make sure that it gets there safely. I do throw a little piece of tape over the flap where this thing closes just to make sure that it doesn't pop open. And then that one's ready to go. Now, this Cal Ripken Rookie, this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to protect this one even better. And being that it's super expensive, I'm going to require signature for 
delivery. So uh, let me show you how I'm gonna do that one first. I am gonna get another one of these little little rigid mailers or little poly mailers, bubble mailers. I can't know what they're called. I got my invoice, so we're gonna put my invoice around the card. Like I said, I like to include invoice uh, just in case something gets lost in the mail, some sort of damage and has to go to a post office lost mail. I've never had that happen in like 10, 12 years, but it could. So first we're gonna throw it into this little bubble mailer. That's our first stage of protection. And I think I got one of the boxes that I'm gonna use right here. It looks like a big box for a card, but when you're sending a card that's over $400, I think you wanna take those extra steps, make sure that it gets there safely. So we're gonna close my little bubble mailer. And then we gotta get some bubble wrap. Got the bubble wrap over here. Get a few little sheets of that, and we're gonna wrap this card in the bubble wrap. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Throw this inside here. Now it's in here pretty good. We just need a little bit of void fill, so I'm gonna use a little piece of paper from over here. Got my piece of paper. Close it up. Now we got this box. Let's see what this is gonna weigh. Still pretty light, weighs seven ounces. So it's gonna ship at a pretty light first class rate. The box is only 10 by seven by three, so the box itself is pretty small. Now let's find out what the cost is. Cause like I said, I'm gonna add signature confirmation and insurance to that. So it's gonna be a little costly for some of these extra things for me just to make sure that I'm protecting myself just in case of loss or damage or anything like that. So I got both first class mailing, we got require signature, and we also are adding insurance. So those two things are costing quite a bit. The total cost for me to send this is gonna be $13.57. Box is ready to go. Now we're gonna move on to the next item, which I gotta look at my list again, see what is next. All right, looks like we have about five or six orders here from the office. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab those real quickly. I don't think you really need to see. Uh, most of them are gonna be back here in the closet. There might be one on the shelf, but I think they're back there. Actually, one is over here, kind of off camera here. We'll rotate you so you can see. This shelf over here, besides being my cat's tree and her little hiding spot here, this items up here are all both dual listed on eBay and Amazon. So I know if I pull an item off that shelf, I need to go take it off of the other side as well. So we have one item out of there. Let me go grab that and some of the others. Okay, I went and pulled all those items. I got some boxes. We're ready to get going on some of these items. First up, next sale is this autograph photo of Chuck Wepner. Now, it says on here that he's a former heavyweight boxer. And uh, I know there's a story behind him. I actually think they made a movie about his life. I can't remember. Uh, he boxed against Muhammad Ali. And it says here in 1975 in a title fight, he lasted almost the full 15 rounds. I believe he got knocked out just before the bell rang in the 15th round. So uh, he was a pretty good fighter back in the day. This is a little autograph photo from when they did a like a charity event back in the 80s, I believe it was. Not very expensive item. Let me pull it up here on the screen. I'm kind of not prepared as usual. $7.99, yeah, I got a whopping $7.99 plus shipping on this one, but how am I gonna ship it out? Well, first I had to put it in this little rigid protector. You need something for photos to keep them in, make sure they're not gonna get bent. Of course, I have my invoice. Got to write thanks on it as I always do. And then I need a rigid mailer to put it into. So. I'm gonna put it in one of these, but just putting it in here like this isn't gonna be quite enough. It can still bend. I've had some of them get bent in the past, so I'm gonna put an extra little piece of cardboard with it. I always have extra pieces of cardboard around from boxes that I threw away, whatever. So look, this is actually the perfect size. We just need to cut this down. All right, so I got it taped to the side. We're gonna put it in here, weigh it, get the shipping label, and get this one out. And of course, I'm gonna add one of my Do Not Bend stickers to that package as well. All right. Next one, let me see what it is. Just look at my little order stack over here. Keep off camera from you. This is, oh, this is an empty sports card box. Like who wants an empty sports card box? Well, let me write thanks on this invoice and I'll show you. This is a really cool, I'm sure they're gonna use this as like a storage box. This is from a really expensive uh, box of cards called Topps Transcendent. I'm sure it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you wanna buy one of these boxes that actually still has the cards. So they make these really nice plastic cases for them. And uh, occasionally I pick them up from some of my card contacts. This one here, again, not real expensive, $12.49 or $13.49, whatever it is. I think I gave a little bit of a discount. Uh, it is shipping to Indiana. So let me figure out a box for this to uh, get it sent out. Well, I think I found the right box. It might be just a little bit too tight on one side. 
We'll see. I think this one's going to have to work. Otherwise, the boxes that I'm going to have are quite a bit bigger. So we are going to wrap it in some bubble wrap for starters. This is a plastic box, sort of like an acrylic top, so it would break if it gets too banged up. So we're going to put some bubble wrap around it, put a little bit of tape over that so it stays. And then we got the sides that I'm going to tape this way as well. Right, that box did work. Uh, not too big size wise. So let's find out how much it weighs. Probably under two pounds. One pound, 12 ounces. So that's perfect. Keep it on that two pound rate. Makes things a little bit cheaper. So I ended up going with UPS on this one. UPS was about 50 cents cheaper. And my label's printing as I'm talking about this. So we'll lean over here. So yeah, priority mail was about $11 and change. UPS was $10.70, somewhere around there. So as long, since I'm already going to be going to UPS today, I went ahead and did that. Now, if I'm going to have to make a special trip to UPS, that 50 cents isn't worth it with the cost of gas and everything and the extra stop and time. I'd rather just take it to the post office and eat the extra 50 cents. But yeah, since I'm already going to be going to UPS, I know I have some bigger boxes today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and save that 50 cents. All right, the next order, we got some cards, not sports cards. The door is open back there. It's kind of weird. Looks as I'm seeing it on the screen. But anyway, we got three non-sport trading card sets. We have uh, an action sci-fi lot. So we have, I'm looking at my sheet, Tron, uh, Terminator 2, and Starship Troopers. So we got three different lots of cards. You'll see the pictures of them in the pop-up a little bit. Uh, this sold for $13.49, so it must have been a little 10% off discount. Uh, some of these cheaper sets that I just kind of wanted to get rid of, that's why I bundled bundle them together individually they didn't sell that well so i figured i could uh encourage somebody by putting three sets for one price as i deal in sports cards i always have a lot of these small little card boxes around and this one fits in in here pretty good but we're gonna do a couple little things to protect it a little bit more first i always have a couple little pieces like this of extra cardboard or something i can put on the end just as sort of like space fillers and to make sure that the cards on the end don't get damaged but i still got a little bit of space in the box so we're going to stuff some paper in here too that worked perfect now we just got to put my invoice in there, close up the box. These little boxes can be pretty heavy. This weighs about a pound and a half. So to save money, we're going to ship it in one of these padded flat rate mailers, $8.20. So that always works good. Another order done. It's it here in this box. I actually fold it over, fits the box in here pretty nice. Next sale. Next sale is the smallest item that I sold, but a pretty good profit percentage. Uh, recently went to one of my local thrift shops. They have basically like a big bin that they just throw golf balls. And one day I noticed a lot of baseball and football team logo ones, but they also had this one in here. This is Los Angeles Dodgers and it's a vintage Spalding golf ball, but it was kind of cool because they put the laces on it. And this says Spalding. Do I have it upside down? Nope. And it has three. So maybe you're a fan of whoever was number three for the Dodgers. You just collect all kinds of Dodger stuff. Uh, vintage ball. I couldn't find any others like it out there on eBay. So I threw it out there for 10 bucks. And yeah, just this one golf ball sold for $10. Uh, at that store, they're 45 cents each for golf balls. So I paid 45 cents, got $10. So that's a pretty good profit percentage. Uh, let me show you how I'm going to pack that up. Now, little boxes. I have a bunch of these little four by four by four boxes. They work great for baseballs, hockey pucks, and... And in this case, golf balls. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that thing went flying. So I'm just gonna put it in this little bag here just so it doesn't get lost in there. Kind of wrap it up, throw it in here. It's it's not gonna get hurt. Now, this is a fairly flimsy box. This little four by four by four box isn't the biggest quality. So I'm gonna put a little bit of void fill in here. Very light box. Even with a golf ball with all that void fill, still only weighs four ounces. So this is going to go at a pretty cheap price. And actually, it's just going to somebody here in Arizona. They're up in Flagstaff. Uh, it's a couple hours away from here. So very cheap shipping, $3.37. On to the next item. And it's another one of these. And I think this could be the last one of these that you ever see me sell. I have one more, but it's missing this little part on the top. And it has that little faux snake skin on there as well. Another one of these diamond back hats. This one, it actually popped off and I had to do some repair work to get it on there. Use a little super glue so I could resell it. So yeah, I think this is my last snake skin cap. Someday, uh, I already ran out of Fiesta Bowl Fiesta Bowl patches. If you ever remember back that far when I had hundreds of those, had hundreds of these, this will be my last one. And someday I'll be out of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. You'll never have to see those again either. Uh, these hat, hats have been great sellers, $24.99 with free shipping. Uh, I paid just a couple bucks per hat. And this is how I ship them, eight by six by six boxes. I always get these in bulk, buy them like a hundred at a time because I sell lots of hats and other stuff that these boxes work good for. Uh, that way you don't have to cram them into an eight by four by four box. 
this is the size box that you want for hats and i also give it a little moisture protection just in case it goes somewhere where it's raining it's snowing whatever put it in here fold this over that way if the box gets wet the hat stays pristine so put that in there fits in there perfect uh, usually these weigh eight ounces sometimes they might hit nine just depending perfect it weighed 7.6 ounces round that up to eight eight by six by six box first class three dollars and 87 cents because it's only going over to texas from arizona so cheap right there uh like it when they're shipping to states that are close by and you can save some extra money on shipping all right we're down to just two more items from the office that we're shipping then we're gonna have to go get some stuff that's stored out in the garage Next up is another one of these Dungeon Crawl Classics Adventure Models, similar to Dungeons and Dragons, just another game that was made. And this is the little adventure modules that they played the game out of. Bought, bought like 20 or 30 of these a while back for a dollar a piece. They've been really great sellers. But again, just like some of the other stuff, I'm just about out. Only got a couple items left from that purchase. Uh, this sold for $8.99. I think I had it for 10 bucks. Sent a little 5% or a 10% discount offer. And uh, yeah, now let's uh, show you how I'm going to ship this. This is going to be very similar to how I shipped that photo other than a couple of things. I don't want to just ship it in here. So I have these magazine bags. So I put them in one of these magazine bags and then I have a backing board for that. Gives it a little extra sturdiness. So we'll throw this in here as well. And then I would just put that inside one of these rigid mailers. I have several different sizes of these just because I sell a lot of flats, uh, autograph photos. These are like, I believe like 12 by 10. I have one that's a little bit bigger. That's a 13 by 11, then a smaller nine by seven. Those are three sizes that work great. There might be links down below. I'm not positive you wanna check them out. Uh, if you need some, but yeah, this fits just in here. It's a little snug, but just right. Put it in here, and of course, I'm gonna use another one of my Do Not Bend stickers on it. It's pretty light, weighs like seven ounces. It's gonna cost $4.15 to send this one out. And the last item from the inside the office items is this fan remote here. It's a Hampton Bay Universal remote for ceiling fans. Uh, this was the item that I had both listed on eBay and Amazon. Amazon, I did have it like $10 more expensive. I think I had it for $30 there eBay 20 bucks plus shipping now it is going to Florida so it's going from Arizona to Florida so that's about as most expensive zones you can go it is going to be over a pound I do need to protect it make sure that it doesn't get broken so we're going to go ahead and use one of these mailing boxes now I can do it this way and I'm going to cut the box down a little bit make the box a little bit smaller make sure I don't go over two pounds uh, we'll package it up and I'll let you see what it looks like after. That worked out pretty good. So I got it in there. I kind of manipulated the box around and we made it into that size. So yeah, that worked out perfect. We got it boxed up here, sending out priority mail. It was just over a pound. So it cost me a little over $10 to ship that over to Florida. All right, here we go. Like I said, we're going to have to go out to the garage, the storage to get some stuff. Let me open the garage and get some light in here. Uh, you can see I just bought a collection of stuff last night. I still got it sitting on my car. He came over last night and dropped it off. So I got items here and a bunch of football. And uh, I think these are mainly football, maybe a few hockey card sets there as well. So I got to go through all of that. That's stuff that will probably all be sold in my collectibles booth. But everything that we need is over here. And it was too bad. Let me back up a little bit. I had all this space. Look at all this space I had cleared out the other day. Yeah, I was starting to make some headway. I can just get rid of those football helmets. I need to have a whole day of listing football helmets. So we have some games stored up here. These are from my big game purchase. I still got to list those here. There's still some stuff over here. And if I spin you around slowly, I don't want to do it too fast. I have a big stack of games over here. So I'm getting close to being done with all that. I do believe we need a couple out of here. And we need that bottom one. So we need Starship Troopers. And then another one got another little section back here that i listed a few bigger box game and we need this one quebec 1759 i was wrong the other game that we needed up there jutland this naval warfare game so these are a little bit bigger boxes a little bit tougher to ship but i bought some boxes special for those and let's grab starship troopers and take these inside all right we set those in we're coming back out i know a couple more things we need they're both over here so first we need this tin here, this Bakugan Battle Brawlers Collector Tin. This actually surprised me. You'll see when I show the pop-up on the screen. I think this sold for like 60 bucks. Yeah, pretty good sale here. We need an item that I believe is in here somewhere with all my little bag toys. All right, got it out of there. These are called like My Mini Mixy Cues or something. I don't know. Surprisingly, these must have came out like after my daughter stopped playing with a lot of the smaller toys. 
but yeah, these are these are pretty good little toy. I think these sold for like $30. These were in a hanging bag at a Goodwill. Set those inside. Now we need a couple more items that are back over in that same section. Get to my little license plate. We sold another license plate. We sold the Plymouth one, so I'm looking for that. We're see Pontiac Plymouth. I know we're getting low on these. I've got a few more of them. And then I need this big Monopoly game. This is going to be the toughest shipper of the whole day once I get to it. All right, two more items from the garage, and we're going to be done out here. Uh, one's a game, one's a pair of shoes, and the game should be in here, I believe, somewhere. This area is getting pretty full. I need to uh, maybe run a sale, get some of this stuff out of here. Oh, actually, it's hiding over here because it was a bigger box right here. See if I can get it out without dropping or knocking anything down. We got Pig Pong. I think I showed this in one of my hauls when I got it. Kind of a, a silly game. You have these little puffer pig things that you shoot this little styrofoam ball back and forth. These kids are having fun. I think this game sold for $29.99 plus shipping. It is a fairly bigger box. So I'm sure I'm going to have to do a little bit of Frank unboxing to uh, get this one done. And the last item I need is going to be the toughest one to get out because it's kind of in this little area back here. If you can see hiding back here in the corner is my little shoe pocket back here. You don't see me sell a lot of shoes. They got to be pretty unique for me to pick them up. But uh, I did find a pair. Let me let me dig them out. Right, there they are. I got the pair of shoes. These are some Cole Hans. Never bought or sold this brand before, but just saw them. They looked very unique. And the last is this little bookcase area up at the top shelves or the top of our stairs. Uh, keep some stuff hidden away up here. Have this book set. This is a Harry po or a <laughs> Harry Potter. This is a Diary of a Wimpy Kid book set. So we got like issues number one through ten plus the movie diary. These the prices on these have been going down quite a bit. I think they're down to about three dollars a book when you're putting them in lots. So if you can get them super cheap, still worth selling. But just know that you're probably only going to get about three dollars a book. Okay, here we are. I'm back in the office. I got all the items pulled out of the garage. You saw all of those. We're gonna get them packed now. I had a quick little break, got a snack, got something to drink, so now I'm ready to get the rest of this video going. This takes a lot longer to uh, do a video and to do your orders than when you're doing them both together. The office is kind of a mess, uh, but we're, we're, still, we're still working through it. Anyway, next item up, we have another one of these license plate, Plymouth license plates sell for $15.99. These, these license plates have been going so great. And like I said earlier, when I ship the comic books, I use these comic book mailers for the license plates as well. So we just fold it around, tape it up, ship it. It's light, goes first class, gonna ship for about $4 and change. The next item we're gonna ship are the My Mini Mixie Cues. If I said the name correctly, let me look it back up again so I can see the name. Yeah, I was right, My Mini Mixie Cues. So we got a ton of the figures. We got this little storage cube that's full on both sides. $30 plus shipping on this. And like I said, this was from a hanging bag at a Goodwill. I don't remember the exact price. They're usually like $4.50, $5.50, somewhere in that range. Sometimes I get to use my coupon, get 20% off. So we'll just say we paid $5 for it, sold it for $30. So these are kind of breakable, especially this little plastic box. So we're gonna wrap all of it in bubble wrap, get it all in there. Fits into this little eight by six by six box pretty good. Like I said, I use these for quite a few different things. We're just gonna put a little void fill on top as well. Pretty sure this one's gonna weigh over a pound. So it's gonna go out either priority mail or UPS. Yeah, just over 1.2. It would have been nice to keep it at that one pound rate, send it first class, but unfortunately it's just a little bit too heavy. But I'm lucky. This one's just going over to California. So it's pretty cheap rates. This one's gonna cost $8.24 to send it over there. So happy that it's only going to California. If it was going to Florida, would have cost me at least another two or three bucks. The next thing we're doing is these Cole Han shoes. And yeah, like I said, I don't buy and sell a lot of shoes. I look for things that are pretty unique, different, have great sell-through rates. So this is the one, uh, one of the ones that I choose. These Cole Han shoes, uh, these are women's uh, size eight. These sold for $35.99. Now, just like with that hat, you don't have to do this step. This is just something I do that's extra, that I think is nice. I put them in one of these little poly bags. It just protects them from getting a little bit dirty, uh, possibly wet if you go to an area that uh, is having some rain or snow. So again, we're gonna use one of these shoe boxes. Pretty typical people use these shoe boxes for shipping shoes. Yeah, it's right in the name. 
there is a lot of extra space in here. And you have a couple options. You can void fill it or you can cut the box down. I actually like to cut the box down, make it smaller. Let me see what these weigh. I don't think they're too heavy. Yeah, it's 1.8 ounces. Even if I put some void fill in there, it's not going to take it over two pounds. So I'm just going to put some paper in there and fill it up. So this one here, I am shipping out priority mail. It did cost me $11.28. If I were to use UPS, it would have been 50 cents cheaper, but I just didn't have the right box for these shoes. So we went ahead and shipped these out USPS, even though it is a slight bit more. Next item that we're shipping is these Bakugan Battle Brawlers right here in this collectible tin. I actually got pretty lucky. I had this little chewy box that I got from a friend that's gonna fit this perfectly in there. Otherwise, uh, this was kind of an, an odd size and shape, especially for the thickness. Uh, this was an item that I picked up at a Goodwill. They did have it priced up a little bit. I think I paid $12, or at least that was marked. I could have used a discount. Uh, but it sold for $59.99 plus shipping. It did take a couple months to sell. I had one guy contact me and ask if I would take each of the brawlers out so he could see what it looked like when it was unballed. And I wasn't going to do that. There's like 24 of them in here. Uh, like a week later, it sold to somebody else. So anyway, I got $59.99 plus shipping. We're going to ship it out in this box. It's got some labels on that I got to take off. This box is nine by nine by four. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty good size box. I may have to order some of these. So just like everything else, we got to put some bubble wrap around it. Make sure that it doesn't get banged up during transit. Put it here in the box. There is a little bit of space still up on the top, a little bit of void fill. So I'm going to put one piece of paper over the top. This one is a little heavier. Let's see what this one weighs. It could is probably over two pounds. Yeah, it's almost three pounds, two pounds, 15 ounces. So luckily we stayed under that three, but we got uh, two pounds, 15 ounces. And the box was nine by nine by four. My guess is this is going UPS. It is going to Minnesota. So it's traveling a little bit of a distance. And yes, UPS ground, $11.67. If I had to ship it priority mail, $12.94. So $1.30 more by using priority. So we're definitely using UPS on this one. Next item for shipping, we're going to go into the three games that I sold. First up, we got Starship Troopers. Yeah, this came out way before the movie Starship Troopers did. Uh, this is a bookcase game uh, made by Avalon Hill. Uh, all, I think all these games that I sold today were $30. I think they're all $29.99. So uh, this one was partially unpunched. Some of the pieces were out of the holders and some uh, were still unpunched. So uh, pretty good game here. Now, this is what it looks like inside. Stuff can move around. So I am going to put a couple pieces of bubble wrap in here just to keep things from shifting around too much in transit. All right, now that I have the insides taken care of, now I got to wrap the outside of the box in some bubble wrap. This box is actually in really nice shape for a game that's from the, I think, I think this one was from the 1970s. Yeah, 1976. Right, so this one's here, and this one's just going up to Washington. So we don't have to worry too much about shipping costs. It's still on the West Coast. Uh, not quite as cheap as California or Texas or New Mexico, but luckily it's not going back to Florida. So we're just going to put it in this box here. I'm going to guess that it weighs probably three to four pounds. And I'm right on, right under three pounds. Right now it's at 215, two pounds, 15 ounces. So a little bit of void fill, but instead of paper, the paper's a little bit heavier. I'm actually going to put some bubble wrap in here and keep it under that three pounds. Okay, this is another situation where if I had the perfect box for this, UPS would have been a little bit cheaper. UPS would have been $11.67, priority mail $12.94. So that's a dollar thirty more uh, that I'm going to spend on this one just to, to ship it up there. Like I said, luckily it is Washington and not Florida. Florida probably would have been like $15, $16.00 with USPS. We're ready with the next game, and the next game is Jutland, and this is a British Grand Fleet versus the German Fleet game. Again, this is another $30 game from my big game haul. Similar to that other game, it's got a lo lot of loose pieces inside. I'm going to lay a little bit of bubble wrap over the top, just kind of make sure that things don't move around too much, and then I got to wrap the box as well, and I'm going to show you the box that I'm going to ship it in after. Okay, have this one wrapped up. Now, this one is going back to, I believe it's Minnesota. So this one's going fairly far. And if I were to ship it priority mail due to the weight, it'd be a little too expensive. So we're going to definitely ship this one UPS. Now, this box that I have is a little bit too big for it, but I think it's the right box to use. This one is 18 by 12 by 4. I'd rather have like a 16. I think that would be a little bit better. You see, it fits in here pretty good. If it was a couple inches shorter, definitely better. So we're going to have to do a little bit of void fill in here. But because it's going UPS, we're just going to fill this up. And it shouldn't be too bad. Well, I'll, I'll let you know the shipping price. I had a bunch of air pillows that I needed to get used up and out of here. So we're going to fill this as much as I can with these air pillows. Do some creative 
organization in here. See if we can get them all in here. Ooh, they're kind of static. -y. Let's see. Oh, one too many. So do that, and that's going to be perfect in there. So let me get it taped up, and we'll find out the weight and how much it's going to cost to ship. All right, now this box is not too bad. I'm going to guess just over four pounds. Let's see here. Let's go with it. Just under, great, three pounds, like 12 ounces. So three pounds, 12 ounces, and 18 by 12 by four box going to Minnesota. Not gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm guessing, uh, where is it right there? $12.16, that's a bargain. $12.16 to get a box all the way from Arizona. This one's going back to Minnesota. So yeah, it is all set and ready to go. Fantastic. Like I said, $12.16, that's a bargain. It was, I think another $5.00 if I was going to send it through USPS. Now the next, all right, the, the last of the games, Quebec 1759. This game is a much longer box, so it's going to fit in here perfect. Now the reason I got these boxes, I ordered these as soon as I got this game collection because I know there was a lot of odd size games and I would need a special box again. These are 18 by 12 by 4. I believe I ordered them off of Amazon. They they aren't super cheap. I think I paid almost $2 per box shipped, but it makes it a lot easier than Frankenboxing these every time you have to do that. Uh, so I will take the time saver every day. This one sold for $29.99, same as all the other games. So let me get this thing bubble wrapped, boxed up, and we'll find out what it's gonna cost to ship this one. This one's going to Georgia. All right, great. That one was three pounds on the nose. Three pounds, zero ounces, 18 by 12 by four. My guess is this is definitely going UPS, but I'll give you the price comparison. So UPS, great, $12.06 to get this to Georgia. Fantastic price. Uh, to get this priority mail, $14.59. So definitely check out your prices. UPS is so much better on their items that are under two pounds. So $12.06, we'll type this in here, 12.06 into my spreadsheet. Let's get this label that printed out and we'll get on. We only got a couple items left to go. All right, I got to deck down for this part. Uh, next up are these Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. This book set, uh, this is going to South Carolina. So it's just traveling down through the southern part of the U.S., Arizona, South Carolina. Uh, these sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So there's 11 books. I got $30 and it just shows these books are selling for about $3 a piece. Diary of Wimpy Kid, Dork Diaries, all kind of about that same price range. So the book sets do still sell, but just know you're only getting about $3 a book. So you need to get them for worst case, a dollar a piece. Don't pay any more than that. And this is the box that I think we're gonna use. This is one that I actually got from Walmart and it is a 12 by eight by 10 box. And I like to use this filament strapping tape when I'm shipping heavy, heavy things like book sets, protects it a lot better. Let me stand up here and get this lined up just right. I think we got that in here. All right, let's, uh, let me get these books packed in here. Let me see how it's gonna go in here. May have to play a little Tetris and tuck them away, but uh, let's see what I got. Looks like they're fitting pretty good. So here's how we have it. We have a bunch stacked up, a couple down the side. I do need to do a lot of void fill in here and uh, get this packed up and see how much it weighs. These are gonna be heavy. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. How much does it weigh? It's over 10 pounds, I know that. 11 pounds, three ounces. So that's pretty heavy. 12 by eight by 10 box. Like I said, luckily we're able to go media mail and media mail from Arizona to Georgia, or South Carolina on this book set, $10.12. So uh, I think I charged 10 bucks for shipping. So I would just about nail that one, $10.12. I'm not worried about that uh, 12 cents there. So let me get the label printed out. We got two more to go. Here we're ready. Next game, like I said, we got two to go and these are gonna be my two. I thought they were gonna be the two toughest. This one actually I think is gonna be relatively easy. Uh, this is ping pong. This is a game where you use these little pig puffers to shoot these little, uh, what are they made out of? Styrofoam balls back and forth, play like ping pong on a table. Uh, this game is from 1986. It actually was missing uh, this little part right here that sits on top. Not a big deal. I put it in the description, uh, but you need a special box for it. All you got to do is some Franken boxing. Luckily, I have a box that's going to work perfect because I ship a lot of turntable AAA games and I bought these boxes specific for those. This box is 16 by 16 by 3. It's a lifesaver when you sell some bigger games. It doesn't fit the big turntable Scrabble. Those are an inch bigger. You would need a 17 by 17 by 3 box. But this is going to fit right inside perfectly. 
Oh my gosh, I got really lucky on this one. Now, there is a couple little places, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of void fill on those sides and one piece of bubble wrap over the top so when they open the box with a box cutter, they don't cut the actual box itself. So let me get it boxed up and get it weighed and we'll find out what it's gonna to cost to ship. Right now, this game is going back to Pennsylvania. So from Arizona to Pennsylvania, that's the pretty far shipping zone chain. So two pounds, 15 ounces. Yes, it's under three pounds saves you a whole bunch of money. So two pounds, 15 ounces, 16 by 16 by three box. I'll give you the two price differences, just so you can see. We, I already know we're going to UPS on this one. UPS ground, $12.65. So big game like this, $12.65. If I were to ship this priority mail, $17.21. So almost a $5 difference between UPS and the post office. So again, use UPS ground, anything over three pounds, generally they're gonna be cheaper. So let me just type this into my spreadsheet, 1265. Print out that label, last one. All right, here it is. We're down to the last game. Let me change the angle a little bit. This one's gonna be a little more difficult. This is a very large box. This is a Monopoly Premier Wood Box Edition. Yeah, for this game, $119.99. Yeah, these collector's edition Monopolies do really well. I have a couple of combo units where it's like Monopoly and Clue or Monopoly and Yahtzee. I can't remember the combos that I have in these big collector's editions and they do really well. This one I paid less than $10 for. So really great return. It is even a used game. Now, again, this box is huge. It's heavy. This probably weighs eight to 10 pounds on its own. Luckily, I have this box right here. Now, it's funny that I even have this because I ordered some 10 by 10 by 10 boxes from UPS with, or from eBay with my coupon here this last month and they came, the boxes came in this big box so this box is going to get packed into this box it's almost a perfect fit after i get a bunch of bubble wrap around this monopoly game so let me get it boxed up it is going far this is going to florida so this thing is going to be costly to ship let's see all right here we go the moment of truth let's find out how much this weighs it is heavy 12 pounds two ounces this is gonna cost a lot to get to Florida. All right, let's find out the size. This is huge. We got 21 by 21 by seven. 21, 21, seven. I'm afraid to see this total. I know it's gonna be expensive. All right, not far off from what I thought. Uh, USPS ground, $27.31. So. 27.31. I charged $25 for shipping, so I was only a couple dollars off. I'm fine with that to get a full sale price on this item. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and get that printed out. Like I said, 27.31 on that big box. Luckily, I mean, going to Florida, that's pretty expensive. If it was only going to Texas, it would have been about half that price. All right, are you wondering how long that took? Yeah, I started at about nine o'clock today and it just hit noon now. So I was able to pull, pack, prep everything i haven't loaded it in the car yet and filmed this video all in three hours so pretty good considering it took me a lot longer since i was incorporating filming the video into it i probably could have busted this all out in about an hour and a half so i just want to let y'all know how long that all took uh, i think that's it today i hope you enjoyed this video how i went through and wrapped up everything uh, if there's anything you would do different or if you like the way i did things leave me a comment down below hit the thumbs up if you're new you're watching for the first time or second time and if you haven't hit subscribe button uh, other than that, did I say a thumbs up? I don't know. That's it. It's Monday. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.